Hi guys, welcome back to Charmaine's Kitchen. I hope all the fathers are having a wonderful day so far. I'm gonna start preparing dinner for my husband now. So if you guys wanna see what we're preparing, come along and let's get cooking. So first of all, I'm gonna start cooking some peas and rice, or rice and peas, my version. I have here some fresh, headless green onions that I picked from my garden. I have two broad leaf or thick leaf thyme that I pick from inside my house. I have some fine leaf thyme, some maruri pepper, and I have about half of a red onion. I'm going to chop these up and I will show you the next step. So first of all, we wash the rice and I have it here in, um, in the pot. I'm going to leave all the measurement in the description below. I'm going to start adding my coconut milk and here I have it. My husband squeezed it in our omega juicer. I just add a little bit of warm water and I'm going to add that coconut milk. See how in the bottom still have some rich creaminess inside. I have some more hot water here. I'm going to just rinse that out. And then we will add this to the pot. And I'm gonna start adding in all my ingredients here now. So I'm gonna add, we're gonna go in with a teaspoon of salt. We can always add more later. I'm gonna go in with some freshly ground black pepper. A nice portion because this flavor the rice very nicely. My stove is already on. And I like to use this grinder because the black pepper comes out with nice um, little pieces like flakes and the taste of it when you bite into it is very, very nice for all those who like black pepper. So now the next thing I'm gonna go in with is my seasoning and look at my board here. I have all the different colors, my green onions, red onions, thyme, broadleaf thyme, my pepper, and I cut one up for flavor. The other three, I'm just gonna put in the, to the pot hole like that. So it's not gonna be too hot for the kids. I'm gonna take the stems off. And all this goodness is going into the pot. So, I'm going to take my time. And the good thing about this peas and rice, you just put all your ingredients. You leave it to cook until it's done to your desire. And you don't have to keep watching it all the time. And that's what I love. Because you can start preparing your other things to go with it. Some of the time I'm just putting in with the stems because it gives a nice flavor as well. And then I roughly pull some out. Let's see what's going on here. Looks nice. You don't have to add color or anything. Usually the peas will give it a nice color. This piece here is not too red, but we will still get a little bit color out of it. So this needs some more water. I'm gonna add about a cup or two more. And I'm gonna add my peppers and we will come back and check it out in a few minutes. Look how beautiful it looks. So guys, tonight our protein is some gray snapper to go with the peas and rice. I'm gonna be seasoning this fish but before I season it, I want to show you how fresh and nice this is. It, I just fall in love how fresh it is. And thanks to Alicia, she told me where I can go to find fish that comes from Guyana right away. And um, I was very happy with the turnout. I ended up buying a large, big gray snapper and I didn't regret it at all. So I have five pieces here. I'm gonna season it, I'm just washing my hands. 
And the first thing I'm gonna go in with is some salt. We wanna flavor up this nicely. And I'm cooking this gray snapper with some vegetable in um, some banana leaves. We're doing this a little bit different. I'm gonna leave all the measurements in the description below. And I'm adding some black pepper now. My husband loves fish, especially the gray snapper, so he's going to enjoy this. This fish has no fishy smell. It's so nice that I'm very excited to taste it. So now the next thing I'm going to add is some green seasoning. And my green seasoning have broadleaf thyme, fine leaf thyme green onions, marjorie pepper, and garlic. So this is five, and I think that's a good portion. I will mix this up with my hands because I find that's the easiest way to get all this goodness into the fish. And we're gonna marinate it for a little. By the time I'm preparing the vegetables that I'm gonna cook this fish with, and this is gonna um, cook in the banana leaf like I mentioned earlier. So let's start with our veggies now. Wow. So here is the peas and rice. It is cooking up nicely. I love how it looks on the top with all those peas popping up there. The pepper, you can see the onion and the thyme. It still have a little bit more to go. So I'm gonna cover this down, leave it on medium, and then we'll come back to it in about five to 10 minutes from now. So these are some of the vegetables I'm gonna be adding to the fish when I'm cooking it in the banana leaf. I have some broccoli, I have here some cauliflower, I have some peppers, but everybody in the house have their own preference of vegetables. So I will make a little pockets of um, their favorite vegetables along with their fish. So I'm gonna cut these up and I'll come right back and show you guys how it looks. So today, Tonight's Father's Day dinner is a combination of some delicious vegetables, peas and rice, and fish, red um, gray snapper for protein. So I have my frozen green banana leaves here. I'm gonna take them out. I will rinse them, and then I'm gonna put them in some boiling water so the leaves can soften up a little because when you start folding them and they're um, like fresh, they will start breaking up. So I find when you heat them, if you pass them over um, some fire or you warm them up in some warm water, it will become flexible for you to work with. So just a little tip, um, I'm gonna take them out and show you how it looks but it makes a nice you can make um, chicken fish any meat of your choice it really really brings out all the juice and the moisture of the meat or the fish when you cook it in this banana leaf so here is the banana leaf as green as can be and when you open it up you have like the whole length of it it's still frozen in the inside this this here is like frozen ice so I'm gonna take them out, I'm gonna rinse them, and this is a good length that I wanna use, and then I'm gonna steam them out in some hot water. So these ones are broken, I won't be using the small pieces, but I'll keep them to use for something else. I'm just gonna rinse them and then I'll come back and show you guys how I'm putting this together. So I wash these up. And I'm putting them into quarters because I don't have a big pot to fit that length. And I'm just gonna 
leave them into the hot water so they can um they can steam up a little and then they wouldn't break when i'm using them so i will i have to take my time so they don't break in small pieces and then i won't be able to do the job that i want to do with them so i will put in the rest and then i'll come back and show you guys the next step so for the vegetables that i'm gonna cook the fish with i'm gonna season them up a little because we don't want to have vegetables without flavor so i'm gonna add and i have my rainbow color peppers here i'm gonna add some black pepper add a little bit of salt not too much just to add a little bit of flavor and I'm gonna add some all-purpose seasoning with pimento and this is what it is this is optional but any all-purpose seasoning will do I just like this one because they have some nice spices so a little sprinkle we're gonna mix it around a little and then this is good for us to add to the fish I'm now gonna season up the broccoli and cauliflower so same thing a little bit of salt for flavor add black pepper And I'm going to add some more of that all-purpose seasoning in here. I'm just going to shake it up a little. Like that. So the seasoning can coat the vegetable. And we can have a nice flavor. So now I'm going to put everything together. This is the very excited part and the fish will be going into the oven very soon so here is my banana leaf now it's already done i try to dry it up a little so the next step what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put the fish into here so these fish look so good so well seasoned so here i'm gonna put the piece of fish like that and i know that my husband like cauliflower and broccoli a lot so i'm gonna put this would be his i'm gonna put a lot of it into his um into his piece of fish and you know what one more thing some onions so i have to stop and chop some onions to add to this and then i'm come i'm gonna come back and show you the next step so now i'm gonna add my red onions any onion can do but a nice amount if you don't like onions you can leave this step out but i find that the onions really give a nice flavor so we're gonna wrap this up now and i have to fold in the sides because we want the flavors to stay in So now we're gonna, the, the fish and the vegetable will cook in the banana leaf, but the banana leaf is breaking up even though I steam them. So the next step is to wrap them in some parchment paper. And this is gonna keep all that moisture and all the juices in one place so we don't lose anything. So. It's going to still have the flavor of the banana leaf. So this is what we're going to do. So this is one here. I'm going to start putting the other ones together. And then I will show you as I finish. So we are down to the last piece. And like I mentioned, the banana leaf is breaking up a little. So there is always plan B. We're going to put our vegetables. And we will 
use the parchment paper to wrap it and keep it in tuck so all the juice and moisture can still cook in with the fish and these vegetables as well the rest of the vegetable that i have left over i'm gonna um just stir fry those to eat on top of the food so the next step we're gonna do is wrap these up nice like that so that moisture can stay in here and then i'm folding these like that and we're gonna flip it over put it in the baking dish and then this is ready to cook so we'll still have the banana leaf flavor so i open one of those package to check the fish and it is beautifully done cook steam into the banana leaf all the vegetables are still intact and it, the fish and vegetable cook in their own natural juices. I'm gonna start plating up and let you guys know how this tastes. So here is my Father's Day dinner. I have to show how the fish actually steam cook in those banana leaves. And guys, if you can get part, um, banana leaves, you can do them in parchment paper as well. And the fish is cooked to perfection, still intact. I can see seasoning on them. And these are the vegetables that are wrapped into those leaves as well. Here is the um, rice and peas. And you guys can tell this is my plate with the pepper on top. So everybody have their... Um, beautifully done steam cooked fish and this is how my husband love it so I hope you guys like this recipe let me know if I cook like a chef today I'm gonna do the taste test and let you guys know so here is that beautiful Father's Day dinner I'm gonna show how the fish looks so beautifully done still intact and cook nice and steam so before I do my taste test, I would like to shout out a birthday. Actually, I have two birthdays requests. So happy birthday greetings going out to Rudy, Rudy Manbod. And this greeting is coming from your sister, Dato. So we wish you a happy, happy birthday. The second birthday request is going out to Sally and her son who is celebrating their birthday on the same date. So Sally and your son, we wish you a happy, happy birthday. So now I'm gonna dig in. And first of all, I wanna go in for the fish. And we can see here that this snapper is beautifully done. Nice and flaky. I can smell that banana leaf um, kind of scent. That really cooks the fish nice and flaky so i'm gonna take a bite with a piece of the vegetable so cheers to all the dads out there and this mouthful is for my viewers mm. natalie's eating now too natalie how you like it it's so good so i'm gonna go in for a little bit of the rice this looks like a lot of food for me, but the vegetables I'm going to enjoy. So some of the peas and rice. Mm. That coconut and the thyme flavor. I can get that hint right there. So I'm going to take another bite here quickly. Cheers. So guys, if you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please consider doing so until then i want to say to you guys stay blessed stay safe bye for now